Alright, I'm going to try to explain this the best way I can. If you don't have your Ring of Kinship, and you want to get to Demonheim, come here. Check this out on the map. There's Alcahard, there's Alcahard Bank, we're just west of it. Alright, sail with this guy, the Frimnip Shipmaster. take you here. Let's go west. And you get up here. Alright, before we start this, oh yeah, talk to this guy this dungeoneering tutorial and he'll give you this rank kingship which you can teleport with at any time and it gets you here quicker and here's your reward shop guy you buy all your dungeoneering goodies but once you're here Open party interface. This is the most important part. Form party. Okay, it says down here it says floor 48 complexity 6. You want to, okay. Let's say I want to try to explain this the best way I can. Click change. Okay, there's all these floors you can do. This is you on one. This is very important. Every floor that's checked off is a floor you've done. So, once you have every floor checked off, which means you've done every one of these floors, you want to click reset. And it says, are you sure you want to reset your dungeoning progress? Your previous progress will be set to the number of floors you have completed and all floors will be marked as incomplete. This cannot be done. And make sure all of them are checked off before you say yes or check or reset my progress. If you don't do that, then you're going to get probably a fifth of the XP you should. So that's very important. So let's start this floor. Climb down dungeoning entrance. Oh, I'm still wearing stuff. Go to your bank and get naked. Take off all your armor and everything so you don't have anything on you. I want to change my floor to floor one just for the sake of this video. Confirm. Climb down. So I'm one, we're going to do small. I suggest doing small, especially if you just started out trying to solo dungeoneering. But keep it on small in the inner dungeon. I can pick uh, what boss I'm going to do, except the uh, Demon Horn, not Demon Horn, but the Dungeoneering Aura 1. You can do it from doing the Dungeoneering Easy Tasks. That's just having Cosmics bound. By all the essence. Over here. And if you have the rune crafting level, make law runes. There's your magic abilities. I think it's under, yeah, here it is. Group gate stone, gate stone teleport. You want to make one of these. You make it by clicking this thing. Alright. Here's some food and stuff that you may or may not need. I want to pick up a couple. Alright, this gate stone. I want to set it at this door. I mean, I can home teleport to get back here, but... You might want to drop it. So let's say you're going through this way and you hit a dead end. You can get your spell book. And this this one, the gate stone teleport. You can teleport back there when you hit the dead end. I'll show that to you later when we need it. 
I will start this. Okay, one of these has a scroll in its mouth. You keep, you wait till one of them, they'll go to the middle and one of them will open their mouth. That one did. So click it. Got it. And it opens the door. Unfortunately, I can't show you all the rooms and how they work. Wow, back to back this room. Always click the first one just to see if I can get lucky. But that time I wasn't. That one opened its mouth. See if I can get it in time. And got him. Don't worry about killing these bosses or these monsters if you don't have to. Because the XP is based on how many doors you open and if you kill the boss and in the dungeon. So basically the whole thing is let me get to a room that there isn't stuff attacking me. I'm gonna kill this real guy real quick so I can show you. Alright. Main thing you want to do here's your map. This is your map over here by the way. Is you want to open up as many doors as you can and then kill the boss. And that's the main goal we're going for here. Go in this room. It's anti dragon shield on the ground for some reason. I don't have that key yet, so I'm going to go to this next room. Okay, this is a guardian door. You can right click, it says guardian door. It says the door will not unlock until all the guardians in this room has been slain. So kill everything in the room. Okay, this is a blue key. Your keys are up here. There should be some place on your screens, but I have that one. Find energy. Got that door unlocked. Let's go in here. Should be a dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end. But it has a key in it, so we'll grab that. Grab the key. Let's go back. Another dead end with the key. So grab this key. Figuring out these gate stones is it's pretty simple once you figure out how to do it, but it's kind of hard to explain. But I have this shield key, so we'll open it up to the store. Looks like we have this key too. Apparently we don't have this key, which is a good thing, I can show you this. Um, drop this here, your gate stone, so you can come back to it at any time. You know, like, if I get this key later, you know, I could just teleport back to that door e easier. But let's use this other teleport and go back to the beginning. Okay, now we do have this key. I'm going to make another one, just in case I need it later. Another, uh, gate stone. Open up this door. The gate stones aren't necessarily needed, but they they definitely do speed things up quite a bit. Grab this key. Get through this door. Hopefully I can open this one. Yeah, I can. Okay, there's the boss. Someone dropped the gate stone again. Let's go see if we have this other key yet. If I'm find out where the, there it is. Teleport thing. Go back there. Okay, and now I have this key. I think I did before, but all right, it's done. So we'll teleport back to where the boss was, the home tally. Check our map real quick. It looks like all the doors are open. And there's
there's a guy. Um, what you want to do, like, here's his food. If he eats this, he'll heal up. So you want to get in between him and the food. If you join more than one person in a dungeon ring, there'll be food on each side. So one person has to stay here, another person has to stay over there. So you just kill him real quick. Looks like I had the wrong ability bar set up the whole time. There we go, that's a little bit better. Had on my dual wield weapon, not my uh, two hander. And at the end, this ladder should open up. Just click it. Be sure you w wish to proceed and take your party with you. You're the only person in the party, so say yes, continue. Right, I'm not going to get very much experience for this because I've already done this floor. But like I said, if you reset, it, you'll get a lot more XP. You can click this thing up here to get all that finished up real quick and you can right click this and press ready for the next floor do leave I'm gonna leave yeah, and that's it but like I said earlier in the beginning of this video it's very important for you to check this and make sure and like okay I just did floor one it's checked off I did it before, but let's say I didn't. It will check off. Make sure you have all the ones you can check off. And the second you do, go down here and hit the reset button. It will give you warning signs, but yeah, you want to reset as soon as you get all your floors done to maximize your XP. Hopefully I explained this well. Um, I'm sure I left a couple things out, but this should give you the main idea of what to do. So once again, thanks for watching. Uh, leave comments about you know stuff I left out or anything. Maybe I can address them later and for and later videos. All right, thanks for watching. Good luck, Dungeoneering. Bye.